Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, rather belatedly. Welcome back to Canon for the, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yes, rather belatedly, I messed up this morning, didn't I? I messed it up. Oh my goodness, I, got, I left work. I did say last week I'm back on my placement. And I left work, so I left work. For, oh my goodness. Uh, at that moment, I got a message from my brother saying, you know what, Alex, there's some people waiting for you. And I said, oh, my goodness, I made a, a, an error in judgment in the uh, the timing. <laughs> anyway, guys, anyway, I do apologize. But welcome back on this uh, this afternoon show. It's not going to be an evening show. Afternoon show on this one. The three segmented live news are coming right back at you. Right back at you. Yes, I said it. I said it. Yeah, let's talk about... Uh, Evaluation in regards to this person over here, an update and some contract stalling. What's going on? Come on, Arsenal, get the deal done. See on the other side of this music intro. Come on, Arsenal. <laughs> Yes, indeedy. Welcome back to Canon for the, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yes, rather belatedly, I don't know what happened. I, I think I, someone was talking to me whilst doing the coding and the, the, the thumbnail. And listen, if you're a podcast, you know what I'm talking about. And I put 11.05. That's, nah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Do me the honours, please. Can you make sure you subscribe, please? Be part of the community, please. Pretty, pretty, please. <laughs> Hit the bell notification button so you can receive all the latest news right here. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Anyway, anyway, first bit of news up. I am number one. I will be number one. Well, ask evaluation. Valuation of Burnt Leno revealed. Is Burnt Leno going somewhere? Is have I, have I missed something? Also, I've set their price tag for Burnt Leno this summer as the goalkeeper department <laughs> prepares for an unexpected overhaul. From being a, in a position of relative comfort, a full-scale revamp is set to take place. Oh, my goodness. Lena came second and asked for a play of the season awards for 2019-20. There were genuine calls with some backing for him to scoop the gong ahead of uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Yeah, remember that? He should have, obviously, but um, such were his displays that those voices were heard well and loud. Now, fast forward 12 months, and it appears as if... Um, He's out, off the door, out the door, making the exit. A series of clangers last season tainted his otherwise usual strengths and it's become so easy to forget the positive notes when it um, comes to goalkeepers. Yet, I repeat, yet, despite the mistakes Leno made, goalkeepers um, remain in a position. I mean, personally, I'm very, very surprised to see that Arsenal have set an evaluation for Burt Leno. Burt Leno could be out of the door, people. I'm not going to get into the debate about, you know, Martinez and Leno, you know, the L and the M and the M and the L. <laughs> but, wow. But I didn't give an evaluation, did I? I'm not going to. Not yet, anyway. Well, Arsenal have set the evaluation, the price tag for Mr. Burt Leno. Wow, my goodness. I'm very surprised. Mr. I am number one. I will be number one. I've always been number one. And who is number one? I am number one. Really? You know what? Matt Ryan incoming. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Matt Ryan, sign him up. Sign him up. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, anyway. Uh, the second bit of news was in regards to this uh, this midfielder here. It's just, it's just, to me, it's like... Um, a Tay novella, like a soap opera with Arsenal. Players going, players coming, coming. Are, are they staying? Are they, are they going? What are we going to do with these players? I don't know. That's what you find in Tay novellas, soap operas. It's a drama. It's a theatre. Rumored to offer Arsenal target Martin Overgaard a new deal. Now, this is only according to an outlet called Defensa Central. Real Madrid are now going to enter talks with Martin Odegaard amid interest from Arsenal. This claim that 
Erdegaard wasn't looking forward to rejoining Real Madrid under Zinedine Zidane anyway, with his Arsenal loan spell now over. Yet with Zidane gone and Carlo Ancelotti in now, Erdegaard seemingly feels that he will get more of a chance at Real Madrid and uh, more excited than he would have been. So that's a bit, that's a bit weird. This, this, it's saying that Arsenal want to offer <laughs> Erdegaard a new deal, but Erdegaard himself is saying, actually, I'm, I was a little bit sceptical about returning because of uh, Zizi, but now I'm more happy because Zizi's not there, uh, Ancelotti's there. So why would you try to offer the midfielder a deal if he's saying now? To me, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand this report here. Paper talk. Silly season. That's what it is. Defensa Central? What are you guys talking about? Arsenal want to offer Erdegaard a contract. The player has said that he was a little bit apprehensive about return to Real Madrid under Zidane Zidane. But now he's not there, he feels a lot more happier to return to Real Madrid. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense to me. Silly season, that's what it is. Silly season. Anyway, anyway, the last <laughs> bit of news. Just when you thought things would get any more um, confusing, complex, silly, Granite Shaka, the deal has stalled. Arsenal locked in Granite Shaka transfer stalemate with Roma. Want player to help fix. The Swiss midfielder moved to Italy is reported being held up. Oh my goodness. Granite Shaka's transfer from uh, Arsenal to Real uh, is not expected to be finalised anytime soon because uh, the two clubs have reached a stalemate in negotiations. According to reports, Shaka has emerged recently uh, as uh, Jose Marina's uh, primary transfer target after taking over a Roma player. But after some uh, early progress, the move has now hit the buffers. Now, according to reports, Arsenal are happy to sell Shaka, of course, but are holding out for their valuation and have rejected three bids from Roma. So it's all about the money now. Now, literally, we're on the verge of actually selling a senior player, first teamer. Arsenal are holding up for, for more money. Just sell the player. Just sell him. Whatever my Roma are willing to give us, just take the money and run. Run. Has anyone got paracetamols? <laughs> I've got Edit coming on. Anyway, yeah, so just when I thought, yeah, the deal's done, done, that's it. And you know what? That serves me right. Because my mantra is I don't believe it until I see it. I won't believe it until I see the player holding up the jersey of his new club or a player coming the other way, signing for Arsenal. I won't believe it until I see the player holding up the jersey. I mean, Roma, I didn't see Shaka hold up their kit, grin like a Cheshire cat. So it serves you right, Alex. Serves you right. Anyway, you know what? This one's going to be a short one because I'm sure a lot of you want to go and see the Scotland versus a was it Czech Republic game, which has kicked off in the last um, half an hour. Half an hour, man. But, yeah, that Shaka, come on, man. Look, I even said, goodbye, Shaka, and better in. And Shaka said, what? What? I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's go into a live chat before I start to lose nuts and bolts. Ah, oh, dear. Man, I was, I was left by... Myself, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I do apologize, man. Again, in my haste. And this is why, you know, when I'm doing my coding, my voiceover work and all the other bits and pieces there, I won't be doing it when my wife is here because I want to spend more time with my wife. There will be no more evening shows. I mean, when the Easy Talk comes back in like four weeks' time, yeah, the Monday show, I have to think about that. The voice of reason... We'll still be doing that because it's it's a pre-recorded and I've edited that. But in regards to going live in the evening, that won't be happening, man. <laughs> it won't be happening. I want to enjoy my, my, my life and my wife in the evening. Yes. Anyway, I'm just kind of digressing. Digressing. Uh, Monty says, oh, go on, Alex and the Canfoy T family. Yeah, 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 yeah. All good, man. All good. Yeah, last protest on Sunday, man. My brother, unbeknownst to me, he was also filming beside me, because he sent me his uh, segment. 
I said, oh, you rotten scoundrel. You were like filming. I didn't realize you was filming. Why? Because the sun was like glimmering from the phone. So I couldn't see what he was doing. I saw he was like behind me. But I was oh, you cheeky so-and-so. You, he was actually filming whilst we were going live. Thanks for that, Ralph. <laughs> And since this afternoon, Alex, I'm glad you're back, bro. Apparently, Onana has been advised not to join Arsenal. Wish Schneider has told him the club's gone downhill and he can do better. I tell you what, we can do better. We can absolutely do better. Yeah, our club has gone downhill, but we ourselves, we can do better. We uh, dodged a bullet there, man. Onana, see you later. See you later. Uh, please do thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. Then I can't pass to El Rabi anymore. <laughs> oh, that's right. We are not in your... <laughs> oh, my days. I don't like to, you know, look for scapegoats, but wasn't it, wasn't it Leno who kind of gave away the, the ball when we faced Olympiacos? Not, not just gone, but the last game I remember, the, I, the last game was at the Emirates. Arsenal versus Olympiacos. And he kind of fluffed his line, kicked the ball out for a corner, and they scored from, from, from there. Mr. Burnt Leno. Anyway. Coutinho is at a discount price for Arsenal. Oh, boy, here we go again. Listen, if I see any more content or any, like, linkage from... Arsenal to Coutinho and Coutinho to Arsenal. I'm going to hit the roof. I will hit the roof. Because I ain't going to be doing any more content in regard to like, Coutinho again, man. I'm just tired of that, man. Just tired. God, dearie me. Uh, hey, with a lowercase a, shift a, you know what matters? They all, what's it? Uh, they are well, uh, welcome to watch uh, the chat room on Guna Matters. Yeah, if they want to. <laughs> if they want to. Oh, uh, my days. Uh, yeah, so people love to send me messages whilst I'm going live. They just love to do it, don't they? Love to do it. Hey, Static. Yeah, listen, brother, I forgot to bring my um, my Cronky Out poster yesterday. Anyway, went there. We came, we saw. We didn't conquer, but we, like as a true to our word, we were there. A two-man protest. Two-man protest. Uh, something tells me that the lack of transfer activity, including the Shaka deal, has been disrupted by the Arsenal takeover. Hopefully there's something in that. Oh, Anthony, I hope so. I hope so. But, you know, I'd I don't know. What, what news would you guys prefer to hear? That the takeover is going to happen? Or Granite Shaka? has been sold. So those of you who think, you know what, it would have made me happy if uh, Shaq had been sold, put X in the chat. If you're thinking that, you know, the takeover would have made you more happier, put T in the chat. So X for Shaka to be sold and T for takeover in the chat. For me, both. <laughs> both. Coutinho, pass. Oh, static, man. God dear. Thank you for the 15 goodness here with us. I appreciate your time. We really do. We do indeed. We do. Uh, Friday night, so that is that is until the East Talk is back. Indeed. Yeah, four weeks. Four weeks worth of break. So four weeks of no more East Talk. I'm just going to chill out, relax, spend the Friday evenings with my wife watching TV. Yes, it's well deserved. Well deserved, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Alex, yes, I saw that. <laughs> it was still, <laughs> yeah, very good. I've got to actually, I forgot to give my brother the uh, the Arsenal Supporters Trust poster, so I'll be sending that to him. But I'm going to keep the red one for myself. There's only so much we can do, man. There's only so much we can do in the protests. Bright, sunny Sunday afternoon, and there was no one at the Emirates apart from one or two people uh, going in and out of the uh, the armory. Uh, It was still a very good protest. Well, we, we, you know, we did our best, man. We did our best. Emmanuel was asking, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. What's going on, man? What's, what's happening? <laughs> it take over all day. Uh, I hear that, man. 
Oh, Shaka gone, says a static. Oh, take over, take over. And listen, listen, what's he saying? Cronky out, don't feed the parasite. And he says, take over, take over, take it all day long. Wow. I'm going to put it as a poll, actually. Uh, we are pow uh, powerless anyway. Uh, better ownership is all I want. Mistakes are fine, but indifference, not so much. Not so much. Let me just quickly go into um, the poll. Whoops. What's going on here? Yeah, because we did a poll. You know, we, we love our, to do our polls, don't we? We do our polls. And the latest poll we did, this was generated from my brother. Don't don't blame me for this one. So the poll question was, which way can Arsenal progress to make the top four? So out of so far, 778 votes. And these were the options. Transfers, new ownership or investment. Transfers, investment or new manager. New manager, new uh, ownership or new board. New ownership, new board members, and new scouting, or other ways. So, again, out of 778 votes, in other ways, comes at 2%. Transfers, investments, and new manager, 7%. New ownership, new board members, and new scouting, 12%. New manager, new ownership, new board, 20%. And at 60%, you guys think transfers, new ownership, and investment is the best way forward to make Arsenal back into top four. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you deserve to take a break, uh, spend time with the missus. I'm going to, man. You know, I, as much as I love doing uh, Canfoy TV, you know, the interaction, because the new segments is, I'll say, maybe 5%, but 95% of doing the live shows is the interaction and answering your questions or blocking people, silly people with the comments there. Yeah. So I love the interaction, but yeah, man, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it, man. Four to five week break on the Easy Talk. Yeah, I've got one, two, three. I've got four more weeks to go before I break up um, summer um, summer break from from the school. But yeah, man, I'm gonna enjoy the break, man. Enjoy the break. You know, the, I mean, the speed I go at. Every single day going live? No, 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 no. You guys can uh, you can do without at least for for you know, a month and a, and a week. Um, you know what they say: uh, behind every great man is an even greater woman. Uh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. My wife has been a source of support, putting sauce in that support there, man. Hot pepper sauce. Yeah, man. Love her dearly. Love her dearly. Anyway, as uh, I could say a T easily, but but. Is only because I fear it could take a few years for the Cronkies uh, to finally leave. I, I kind of believe, I agree with that. Uh, we are tired of this anxiety and promises uh, to the faithful fans of Arsenal. The earlier we realise uh, what is good for the team, the management, the better for us. Uh, how is that poll doing about the ch uh, changes regarding a coach, uh, owner, board? Oh, I've just... Uh, the one I just did, the, the one I've just done now. That's the one I've just done now, isn't it? Um, yeah, I've just given the poll. I think what I'll do, I'll kind of update it uh, before I finish. But well, that's, that's as it stands. 60% of you think transfers, new ownership and investment will help Arsenal progress to the top four. I'll take a little more of that, man. Patience! A lot of patience as well. Uh, right, an adequate player is worthy to wear the red shirt dedicated to give uh, these best week in and week out. It's all we create for. Uh, it's going to be the younger players who are ready to give their blood, sweat and tears for the cause. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's the way to go. Does Arteta Edu realise it? No, they don't. Because they themselves are looking for the best Chinese thing across Europe. All that glitters is not gold. It's not gold. Do you know we we'll get uh, them out right now? Is a fellow like Con <laughs> as coach, uh, he would push and uh, probably even punch Cronky out every press conference. You know, I remember one time. I can't remember. I know it was a transfer window. 
Una Emery was saying that, listen, I can only do, um, what was it again he was saying? Like loan deals. I think that's when we got, um, was it, um, oh, what was that guy? Not Luis Suarez? Luis Suarez? Or uh, David Suarez? I can't remember what the player's name was, but he was saying, literally, the board, if you, if you listen to what he was saying, what he was trying to say is that the board have limited me. You know, I cannot buy, you know, any players. The only thing that, you know, I can do is loan deals. I was thinking, wow. But with Arteta now, he'll say, actually, you know what? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to buy these players. You know, we're going to ramp up the, the squad. Liar. Liar, liar. Pants on fire, man. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Where's this, like, 150 million pounds from uh, the Cronkies to invest? For these new players. Where where is the money? Liar, liar, pants on fire, man. <laughs> uh, check out the merch in the description box and make a purchase if you are able to do so. And also you can make a painless donation using the super chat button. Pow! Right there. One pound, one euro, one yen, one dollar. Painless. Painless. And before you say Colin, I'm not gonna about to say Arteta. For a quick 50 bucks. Um, what kind of person do you think I am, Colin? What kind of person do you think I am? Just to do it just for the money. <laughs> anyway, uh, is there a public way of finding uh, out how many season tickets have been sold or renewed? Apparently, there's some anger among fans for price and price freezing. Um, the Godfather, when I met him last week, because he came to visit us uh, at my house last week, I think there's a deadline. For season tickets to be renewed, and I think he's going to renew. I, I listen. I wanted to quiz him about that. I say, look, listen. You know, you're not happy about the Cronkies. What? Oh dear, I just heard it. Scotland versus Czech Republic. Scotland are one nil down. But yeah, I wanted to quiz him. I thought, you know what? Now is not the right place and right time. But. Yeah, but from what I understand, there's, there's a deadline when you can be able to re renew your season ticket. Uh, if you if you don't renew it, I'm not sure what happens. I don't know what happens. Don't buy match day tickets. Don't buy Arsenal official merchandise. Don't buy BT or Sky Cronky out all day, every day, till him gone. Larry, there you go. Yeah, so Scotland, sorry, with a breaking news, uh, go flash. Uh, I've gone 1 0 down to the Czech Republic. 1 0 to the Czech Republic. Um, so, the quick just renew, you know, review the news of today as we saw it from Canon 4 TV's perspective. But Leno, I don't know, is, is, he, is he going? What, what also evaluation of Burt Leno revealed? Also, I've set their price tag of Burt Leno this summer as the goalkeeper department, um, you know, prepares for an unexpected overhaul. Yeah, despite his mistakes, it appears that Arsenal are willing to um, sell Burt Leno. Think, wow, okay. Burt Leno, I am number one. I will be number one. Really? Well, you was number one. I think your throne is about to be taken, Giza. It's about to be taken. <laughs> the second bit of news we spoke about was uh, Martin Udegaard. This, this report is kind of weird, man. This is coming, according to a uh, defensive central, Real Madrid um, to offer Arsenal target Martin Odegaard a new deal. But listen to this, re this report. According to defensive central, Real Madrid are now going to enter talks with Martin Odegaard amid interest from Arsenal. It's claimed that Odegaard wasn't looking forward to joining Real Madrid under, Dan Z under Zidane Zidane with his loan spell now over. Yet, with Zidane gone, and Carlo Ancelotti in, Erdogan seemingly feels that he will get more of a chance at Real Madrid and more excited than he would have been. So, again, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. The, the, the headline is saying that Arsenal want to offer Martin Erdogan a contract. Erdogan has said that he was a little bit sceptical about returning 
if Zidane was still manager. However, now that Carlo Ancelotti is now the manager, he's feeling that like he might stand more of a chance. So he himself is saying that he'll be happy to return to Real Madrid. So why is Arsenal going to offer him a contract? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, anyway, and then the last bit uh, we spoke of was a Granite Shaka. <laughs> God dare me. Arsenal locked in Granite Shaka transfer stalemate with Roma want player to fix. The midfielders are moved to Italy is reported being held up. Granite Shaka's transfer uh, from uh, Arsenal to Real, uh, sort of Real uh, Roma is not expected to be finalised anytime soon because the cl- two clubs have reached a stalemate in negotiations. According to a report, Shaka emerged recently as Jose Mourinho's Maureen's primary transfer target after uh, taking over at Roma. Uh, but after some uh, early progress, the, the, uh, the move has now hit the buffers. According to the report, Arsenal are happy to sell Grant Shaka, hooray, but holding out for the evaluation and have rejected three bids from Roma. So Arsenal, what, 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 listen, just get the job done. Whatever the offering, just take the money. Take the money and scarper. I'd, anyway, <sighs> dear guys, um, I need to apologise to some of you who uh, came in earlier on. I've got to apologise. I've got to hold my hand up. When I did the coding last night and the time, I thought, and in my haste, I put to go live five past eleven a.m. this morning. I think, yeah, but I'm at work. I'm back at work. It's only when I left work, I'm looking at my phone, I'm thinking, oh, it's, oh my goodness. I put the wrong time in. And when I'm looking at my phone, my brother sent me a message to say there was two people in the, in the live chat saying, Alex, where are you? <laughs> so those of you who came in early on, I do apologize. I'm really, really sorry. As my grandmother said, would say, hurry makes haste. Yeah, When you're rushing, you're more likely to make mistakes and errors. So I do apologise. I do apologise for that. Uh, I'm going to take a, a very quick break. I just need to top up my drink. Actually, I forgot to uh, read my drink. Where's my drink? There's no drink. I need to get a drink. Anyway, I shall see you on the other side of this video when we're talking about our membership scheme. Where's Arnie? Arnie, our latest um, uh, victim, not victim, our latest member on Canon 4 TV. What's involved? The video will explain to you. See you on the other side of this video. Hi, and welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Well, this is a special video introducing our new membership scheme. Membership scheme, I hear you say? Yes, YouTube have allowed all content creators to have a membership scheme, and it's open to all our subscribers. Let me just get, get one thing straight right about now. All the content that you've been seeing for the last two and a half years will remain to be free. So that's the voice of reason, that is the live shows, the broadcasts, the easy talks, all those um, content there is going to remain to be free. Okay, so I've got it off my chest. With the membership scheme, you will get certain perks. With those perks, you'll get to see behind the scenes footage that probably nobody's seen before. Maybe, I'm not sure if you wanna see. <laughs> you, you also get early release of certain videos and of course, with the player profile videos where you ask us to do a video on a specific player, we'll give you a shout out, we'll mention you, and uh, that'll be literally earmarked as if it was a present from us to you. Um, with those um, formats there and the perks, they will come with a small uh, price uh, to be paid <laughs> for the month. So um, with the, um, the, the lower uh, level, which is going to be a bronze cannon, you'll get the shout out, in the live chats and also with the chat if you are a member it will go right to the top of the page that we must and we will mention you and you also get like a free emoji and gif with that as well uh, with the silver cannon again you'll get all behind the scenes footage all the bloopers uh, all the things that we've tried to keep away from you uh, but uh, yeah there'll be a for, small price to be paid for that that's roughly standing at four pounds and 99 pence it will vary uh, from country to country, so wherever you're on, it will, there'll be a slight difference in that. And like I said, we, if we, we're trying to maintain the future uh, of Canon 4 TV across the whole platform. So by all means, you know, we would love you to, to be a part of the membership scheme there. There are going to be perks, including discounts for all the merchandise 
currently running on Canon Foyer TV. So that is the reason why we're doing the membership scheme. Again, you don't have to join it. All the content I'm going to repeat will remain to be free. But part of the membership scheme, you'll have all those perks there. Again, there's going to be a free Q&A live session with me and maybe my brother every Thursday. You also get early footage of early releases. And of course, you'll get the discount as well as all the the bloopers and the behind the scene footage right here on this lovely channel, which is called Canon Foyer TV. So we would love you to be part of the membership scheme. Please, uh, the video is up and running now and it's free uh, to all the subscribers, all the viewers that's ever viewed at Canon Foyer TV. So for myself, Alex, and of course for my brother and Monty and everyone from Canon Foyer TV, welcome please to the membership scheme on Canon Foyer TV. Yes, indeed. So there you have it. If you uh, want to know what does it mean to be a member on Canon Foyer TV, you just had your answer. You've had your answer, so you don't need me to go over it. And the thing is, we've been doing this for the longest time, and, and the ticker tape, it's changed colour because it was in red and white, and now it's black and white because I'm still in mourning. Yeah, I'm in mourning, not mourning, mourning, but I'm in mourning because of the soup, you know, this so-called super league. But um, the ticker tape's been telling you this for the longest time, so if you're thinking, oh, you know what, uh, Become a member. Become a member on Canon Foyer TV. You don't have to look out for the, the, the word join next to subscribe. Just look in the description box. The link is already there. Anyway, let's get back into this before we wrap up this one. Uh, where were we? Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. And Louise says, uh, my brother, what's happening, man? I think Amicotet is confused. How come? You let Emmy Martinez uh, join Aston Villa, and you are the one who trusted Bert Nano for his services. Then now Bert, Bert Nano is not in your plans. I think we need Eck. We do. Eck. What the Eck's going on? Uh, if Nano goes or Nano doesn't come or is banned to November, who's the goalkeeper? Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan. And I forget who's uh, our under-23s goalkeeper. Uh, give, him a, give him a go as well. I, can't, I forget his name now. Uh, look, we need the likes of Conte as coach. If really we need the results for Arsenal, coach with authority, not like Arteta, biscuit, <laughs> biscuit bone coach. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Emmanuel. I like that man. I like that one. Arteta has made nothing but mistakes. A lot of us uh, were willing to let him learn, but now he's uh, repeating the mistakes. Just doesn't work for me. Free the children. Free the children. It's all good, eggs. Thank you for that, uh, Colin. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. Monty, leave the link for your channel, please, in the live chat, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, Arsenal, man. Just, just, I don't know, man. I just don't know. Uh, what else was there? Let's just have another quick look on the, the poll. What's happening on the poll, people? This has been any movement on the poll. Right, the poll is is <laughs> it's just the same. Nobody else is bothered to vote. So you can ah, oh, I can't be bothered to vote for this one. Yeah, the question was uh, which three ways can Arsenal progress to make top four? Now this was generated by my brother, not me. I've got nothing to do with this. So the options of the three ways that you could choose from were other ways, which comes at two percent, uh, new ownership, new board members, a new scouting network, twelve percent. Transfers, investments, uh, new manager, 7%. New manager, new ownership, new board members, 20%. And at 60% still, transfers, new ownership, and investment. And there's not been anybody else who's voted on that one. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I've tried to increase the amount of content for our paid members. Paid members have the privilege to see all the behind the scenes footage. You see how I do, how I go live. It's, it's, I'm not, I'm not really, yeah, it's, it's a green screen here. Um, or behind the scenes footage, you see how I double up, how I edit, how I do the voiceovers, you know, the, the bloopers. So the members can actually see all that content there. What, there are two levels. There's a bronze uh, cannon, which is £1.99, but I know the price is going to vary, you know, wherever you are in the world. And the next level is Silver Cannon. We've got a lot of work to do for the Gold Cannon, but we're not there yet. 
Um, so the tab, the members tab, I'm trying to improve the amount of content that you guys will be able to see. So if you're just a subscriber, you won't get access to all the biases. I mean, they call it like a Discord. I mean, I just call it, the, yeah, the, the members tab, the paid up members. So you, if you're just a subscriber, you will not have access to all the behind the scenes footage. Like I've said in the video there, I do apologize. I do apologize. I don't apologize. Just just pay the, your subscription, your monthly subscription. That's what you got to do. That's all you got to do. The reason why I'm saying that is because I, I posted a couple of photos, um, my brother and myself, when we did the stadium tour a few years ago now. Can't believe time's flying, flown so quick. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I said that for. But anyway, let's go back in live chat just for the last time. Uh, Sue says, um, T, yeah, takeover would work for you. Uh, Henry says, uh, please give us a uh, talk about uh, takeover of Cronky. I did a video yesterday. We went live outside the Emirates, uh, Henry. So if you want to see what, we, what we've been speaking about, look at the video we did yesterday. That out, it's titled The Final Protest at the Emirates. Have a look at the video there. Kaz says a Kronky and Arteta are, come on, come on, don't be silly now, don't be silly. Uh, could maybe use your uh, your Kronky up poster as your background? I, I, yeah, yeah, I could. What, what I did used to do, let me see, I'll show you what I, I did, uh, Sue. This is what I did. Let's change it. This was the background that I, I used. See? Gone. See? But I thought, you know what, don't, don't, you know, I have, I always have that message there, crunk it out. You know what I, what I feel about the cronkies. So I'm always talking to you about that. And I've always gone to the Emirates to protest, although Sunday was the last one. But I thought, you know, yeah, I'll change the background every single day. So <clears throat> just kind of freshen things up. Because I don't want to give these guys too much air time. Oh, how come I look so close? What's going on with the camera, man? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, there we go. There we go. It's better. Yeah, but um, yeah, I thought, let me kind of change the background on a regular basis, just kind of freshen things up. Uh, let's go back to the original background. There we go. Voila! Voila! And today we're talking about, yeah, they're no price, man. I'm going to go and update. Uh, Alex, I like uh, with uh, whatever you give us, uh, the extra stuff is a bonus. Thank you for that, Colin. I do really appreciate that. Um, you know how I always gas when I talk about, oh, you know what, the, 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 our next landmark is 15,000 subscribers. But you know what does, really does it for me? It's seeing the core group of, subscri of subscribers who return, you know, every single time I do a live show or when I do pre-recorded stuff, you guys comment on the video there. It's the return of subscribers that I, you know, I love dearly. And people are saying, but so why is it you've got like 11,000 subscribers and only like you get like three, 4,000 views? I said, well, A, it's the algorithm. I don't have control over that for, for the YouTube. They control that. I don't control that. A large part of our subscribers do not <laughs> want to see me every single day because I'm live every single day. And for, for some people, they don't want that. So they put custom notification which means you get some notifications not all notifications i can't control that i can't control that i wish i could but i can't so the best thing that we can do is just try and build up the content across all the platform do different pieces you know i do the player profile segment where i'm talking about and research players who play for us over the last 40 50 and sometimes 60 years and i tell you what boy do i love that segment it takes a lot of work you know, for that maybe six, five, six minute um, video, I've got a read up on the player. You know, I've got to practice the script. And then I want, want, I'm reading the script, record my voice, you know, actually do the intro, the outro, the overlays. It takes a lot of work just to do it, that five minute video there. But I love doing it. I love doing it. But yeah, so we're trying to divide, diversify the content on Canon Foy TV. I'm coming live almost every single day. There's no even show anymore. We have the segment, the flagship segment, which is the Easy Talk every Friday, but it's taken a five-week break. We've got you know so much content on Canon Foy TV. What more can I do? What more can I do? Anyway, 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 anyway. 
Uh, thank you, Alex, uh, for a great segment. And thank you uh, to Gunas uh, for spending your time with us on Canal 4 TV. Uh, right, until Ashley starts uh, banning me on Fridays. <laughs> great show, Alex. I've uh, got, uh, got, uh, got, got back to work. Thank you for that, uh, Colin. Listen, have a, have a great day. I know in the States it'll be, it'll be morning. Good morning, won't it? Morning, morning. Skynet 886. Uh, good afternoon, Alex. Good afternoon to you, my friend. I hope you are well. Um, hope, hoping next year we will do um, an ice bucket challenge with our our sister channel, uh, Arsenal Fan Circle. Ray, my here, uh, DWTT, aka, well, no, Gary, aka DWTT, and all the guys over there. Um, so look out for that. I need to speak to Ray about the final details on that. So again, it's good. It's good to do some small collaborations with other channels. And of course, you'll see Alex Arsenal. Alex was on the channel last week, and I'll, I'm hoping I'll be invited back on his channel. So there's little collaborations that you need to look out for on Canon Four TV for next season. So much work to be done in so little time, guys. You know, what? I think I think I've come to an end on this one. Yeah, I just kind of run out. Of steam, I'm going to end up watching the second half. I did say I don't have a valid, you know, interested investment in watching the Euros, but I'll watch Scotland. <laughs> oh, my ancestors ancestors are from Scotland, so uh, I'll, I'll I'll watch I'll watch I'll watch that. Anyway, guys, um, Static says, uh, "Great show, uh, take care," and um, I'm out. Monty, I'm out, man. I'm out. I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to just chill out, watch a bit of TV, and then start the cooking before my wife uh, arrives home. See, that's what happens. That's what happens. There will be um, some transfer news, uh, pre-recorded video coming up a little bit later on this evening, just to cover me not being live. So look out for that. I'm not going to tell you which the player was or what the player is or who he is, uh, but look out for that video there. You're not going to see it if you do not subscribe. You've got to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Anyway, guys, have a good afternoon. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place, a different day. All right? Have a good afternoon. Catch up uh, tomorrow. And if by chance you've been wondering who or what you've been listening to, you've been listening to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all 